consecutive odd integers. So they could be 3 and 5, 11 and 13, negative 7 and negative 5, negative 1 and 1. There's an infinite number of possibilities. We're looking for the sum of these two consecutive odd integers. So statement 2 tells us that at least one of them is positive. Okay, so maybe they're both positive, maybe just one of them is positive. It could be that they're negative 1 and 1. It could be that they're 999,999 and a million and one. What is their sum? I have no idea. The first statement is kind of symmetric to the second statement. It's just saying at least one of them is negative. So similarly, maybe it's negative one and one, maybe it's negative 999,999 with negative a million and one. So neither statement is sufficient on its own. But when we combine them, if at least one is negative and at least one is positive, what could they be? Remember, they're consecutive odd integers. The only pair that is possible when we combine these statements is negative one and one. Do we know the sum of that pair? Of course. So the correct answer here is C. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.